What is going on guys the gaming ram here and welcome back to beam and g drive and today is the day that we're going to be picking up our freaking second gen ram truck um we dropped it off at paint and uh who's had a second shop and he was like we can get most of the stuff done uh so the guys down there they got the truck engine in uh, they got the radiator in and oh, and some other stuff they 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 did for me. Um, so we gotta go down there pick it up. So we gotta get in that GMC and let's head down there. So we got quite a drive ahead of us here because the shop is back uh, quite a ways. Here's my truck. All right, so they didn't put the hood on the truck. Like they didn't do the hood and the bumper because they had to redo it. Uh, the hood got messed up and during paint, so they had to take the. So they couldn't put the hood on because they had to redo it, and it's still drying as well, along with the front bumper hood in the you know in the grill, obviously, because the, the grill is part of the hood. Um, what, we do have headlights back at the shop. Uh, they came in uh, through the mail. Got some nice, good, custom-made headlights for the truck. Um, but here it is. And I know it's like, I know what you're thinking. You went with another red truck. But when you guys see it with all the stuff, it's going to look good. But I know what you're thinking. It's like, every second gen you have, you paint red. <laughs> Okay, listen, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's just an acquired taste on the second gen. I just love the red on these trucks. They just look so good. Um, so there you go, all right? Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, we got about four red second gen trucks, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, here's the engine. It is that beautiful Cummins. Uh, we did get an aftermarket turbo. Uh, this is a Borg Warner turbo with a performance K and N filter, and look at that baby. So it's a count. It's a compound build. If if I can show you, I can show you. So as you can see, we don't have one turbo. We got two turbos. So this is a twin turbo truck. This thing is going to be making some power. We're going to be pulling up the Colorado hills and mountains, making power, baby. And that is what we want. So it's a compound Cummins diesel truck build. Um, this thing is going to be sweet. It has 300 horsepower injectors. So this thing is going to have the fuel. It's going to have the power and it's going to have the torque. All three things that we need to be able to tow a trailer full of three cars. Did I say three? I just spoiled it. <laughs> I, I, the third car was a surprise. I wasn't supposed to tell you guys about that. But we're going to be three cars. So we got three cars that this thing is going to be hauling. So it has to be a, uh, it has to be an animal. It has to be a beast. And that's what this thing is. Anyway, let's get this thing on that truck. I got to put this, I got to put this bed down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Tilt. Get this thing on there. Okay. There we go. Park and brake it. Engine off. And there you go. So, um, they said that they're going to deliver the, the hood and the bumper for me. So when it gets done, uh, all we got to do is just literally, they're going to wait. The wait. Look at the wait. <laughs> it does it every time I load this truck. It's because of the tires. Because um, when we first bought this truck, it didn't do that. Uh, and then once when I got these big, massive truck wheels and tires, every time now I load it and I try to put that bed back up, it lifts the front end of the GMC off the ground every time. So, and these are some big tires. Like, these tires literally come off of a semi-truck that's been converted. So, these tires are chunky. These are chunky, chunky tires. So, 
Yeah, I, I say they they definitely are the um, the 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 corporate behind that. <laughs> anyway, let's fire up the GMC, and we're gonna be heading back to the shop. And I told him is that I got a plan for the GMC. I keep them in. T I keep them in. T I get in touch with them because I got something planned that I want to do to this truck because the truck really does need it. Um, I I'll figure out what we're gonna do with it exactly, but. Anyway, let's head back. We got our Ram, and we got a long drive back ahead of us. Like, it has power, that's for sure. It definitely has the power, though. But I got some more things that I want to do to this GMC. Um, which, this truck... Did I ever show you guys the engine setup? I don't know if I did. Let me show you. So this truck has that beautiful 6.6 Duramax engine, but it's all stock. We just dropped that engine in this truck, and... Uh, but it does have an LB7 turbo. So it has that LB7 turbo, which is why you hear that thing literally spool up. It's a spooling monster. I love that turbo, though. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, we got a long drive ahead of us. Make that light. Yeah. But we got a long drive ahead of us. So I'll see you guys back at the shop. are coming up to the shop all right we made it back we're gonna get this thing off the truck does it lift no it's still a study all right perfect all right let's get the big girl off of the truck I gotta pull forward a little bit. Actually, we might can just use the bed. We don't have to really drive it. Oh crap, we're moving a whole truck. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jesus! <laughs> Alright, here we go. All right, the bed all the way up. Let me make sure. All right, we're good. All right, let's go for a quick drive real quick to make sure that this truck's ready to go. All right, here we go. This is the first drive in our compound turbo diesel uh, second gen. Let me double check something real quick. I got a boost controller. And they told me that I can crank it. Now they told me that I can use that. They told me that I can pump out 25. No, they told me there's three settings. There's a low setting that does 25 pounds of boost. There's a medium setting that does 45 pounds of boost, and then the max setting is 55, no, the max setting is 75 pounds of boost. We're going to ease into it, so I'm going to crank it to the third setting, which is, should be about 45 pounds of boost. Wow, this thing loves every moment of it. Get back on it. It's instant boost. That's what kills me. What the heck, brother? What the heck? 
That is nuts! Jeez, look at it go. What the heck, man? Rear brakes are done. I just cooked my brakes on the rear. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves. We're we're on to something here, boys. This thing is crazy. Cruising. Like, look at this. We're cruising and we're automatically making 46 pounds of boost. I'm scared. To, look, I am scared to crank up the boost levels on this truck. It goes, it goes, it goes, and wait till you pass 3,500 and then she pushes. Once when it passed 3,500, it's just gone. Wait for it. Boost didn't really kick in yet. Boost is kicking in right now. We are moving, my man. Look at this. Jesus. What the heck, man? Now, I, I do got to figure out the underpower because it's, it is underpowered, like, right now. Even though we're going about 110, it's underpowered. Until you hit 3,500 RPM. Wait. Boost coming on right now. Right now, full sand, baby. That's full throttle, and we're in boost. We're in the boost. We're in that boost. It has very long gears, man. All righty then. There you go. Yeah, she definitely got a little bit of uh some bugs but we can we can we can fix all that wow this thing is good it's good it's scary good transmission is amazing man so we do have a 48 re transmission but it's a drag transmission so it's been built to withstand over 1200 horsepower which we're not even there. Like, we're not even close to that amount of power. So it, it can hold up the power for sure. Whew. Now, like I said, Hoons did say that the truck is capable of pushing out 75 pounds of boost. But we're making 45 and I'm I'm good at I'm cool. Like we're good. Like we're chilling at 45. I'm I'm comfortable with that. You know, the truck loves it, the engine loves it, the transmission loves it. Nothing's I, I got no complaints with the build whatsoever. Uh suspension wise, it's holding up pretty good. They built the truck to withstand weight, so it has super heavy duty uh shocks and springs. Oh man, we got ourselves a good one. There you go. Um, I'm gonna grab them headlights. I'm gonna put the headlights in right now. I got them. I got them in the shop. I'm going to throw them on and we're going to see how it looks. Uh, they're going to deliver the hood and the bumper for me. So I'm still waiting on that. Once when that paint gets dry, they're going to be shipping it to me. So let me get them headlights and put them on. All right. So we got them on the truck and they're just like the ones I got on this one. Uh, there's a company uh, that makes really nice headlights for these trucks. And as you can see, they look decent. And. But here's our setup. I mean, the two red giants. Now, this one over here is my 900. Uh, I am i don't know exactly the number for the horsepower on this truck. It, it's the OG. It's like the first 
ram that we had bought. This one, this color might be temporary because I might repaint the truck when we get back from Bikes Peak. Because honestly, I, I I'm kind of look I'm tired of looking at the red trucks now. <laughs> no, I got them parked together, uh, so we might paint it a different color. But I'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.